Welcome to another Blue Collar Beer Connoisseur. I'm Shorty P. Hey, and I'm Duke. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I noticed this series has been picking up a little bit of steam. So yeah. I'm glad to see that because uh, I love any excuse that I have to get drunk. So Yes. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing Anthem Oogletoberfest. Yeah. Uh, just Say that five times fast. <laughs> Oogletoberfest. Oogletoberfest. Nope. No. Nope. Can't even get it to. Nope. Uh, we're continuing our Oktoberfest uh, series yeah. for, I guess, through the month of October. And through November, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> we have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, Duke, uh, you want to tell us about the beer? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this is by Anthem um, Brewing Company. Uh, where are they out of? Do you know? Uh, uh, they're local boys, I believe. Oh, no shit. Yeah, Oklahoma City. God. Yeah. Well, fuck Local-ish. me. Local-ish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, matter of fact, I've had one of their blondes, Giggity. Uh, <laughs> it, yeah, they had a blonde beer. It was good. Uh, it wasn't great, though. Um, so, this is uh, thelostoogle.com. Uh, Anthem Brewery and thelostoogle.com present Oogletoberfest, a clean, crisp Vienna style. Oaky lager, packing mm-hmm. a perfect blend of multi sweetness and biting snark. Okay. From watching a football game with friends to poking fun at Oklahoma politicians in your mom's basement. Nice. <laughs> it's the perfect autumn beer for the obscure local social blogger inside all of us. Nice. Try it with a bratwurst, a spatzel? Spatzel? A spitzel? Spitzel? Is it spitzel? It's, it's S P A T Z E L. So is A pronounced with an I? I don't know. I'm not. Or Emily Sutton. Ooh. I have to ask Chopper sometime when he's if he ever gets back on. <laughs> All right. Made on Earth by human. Serve at 42 degrees. Uh, and it doesn't say anything else. Um, cool. Other than brewed and packaged at the Urban Farmhouse Brewery, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. AnthemBrewing.com. That's cool, man. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. This is uh, 5.5 ABV, 12 ounces. Yes. Um, so you had a sip. What are your thoughts, sir? Um, I think... If you're ever looking to get people off of Bud Miller's cores Mm -hmm. or anything like that, or or they're just like, I want to try something different, but this is what I like, and it's one of those big three or something like that, this is a good go-to for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's a little stronger, a little richer in flavor, not much, though. It does still have that light and crispy, a little more of an aftertaste, I think. Um, It's 5.5% alcohol by volume, so... It's a little stronger, too. Uh, not too much, but uh, I like it. Duke, what about you? So um, I get the, the strange aftertaste. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, I clear, no idea. Now, it did say it had, you know, like a little bite to it at the end, right? Mm-hmm. On the can. That's how, you, that's how you fucking get good ratings from us. If you say this is what the beer's supposed to be, you're going to get a decent rating from us, even if the beer sucks. Uh, right. It will definitely improve your rating if you're yeah. honest and, like, right on, like, you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, this is mediocre fucking drink it anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, yeah, it's it's. I agree. It's light. It's crispy. It's got that uh, strange aftertaste. It does have some flavor. It's not what I was expecting out of an Oktoberfest beer. Right. Uh, I, I expect more malt. Mm-hmm. You know, more malty taste. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, it's good. It's good. You know, it's better than that blonde I had. Well, I mean, really, what more can you say about this beer? It's uh, yeah. I think we both are pretty. Our thoughts are in line on this one. It's uh, I mean, it's a good beer. It's not bad. It's just, it is a little different than what I expected to. But yeah, it it is. It does have the flavor I expect from a lager, so that didn't right. really throw me from for a loop. Right, because it said oaky lager mm-hmm. in there. So yeah, so they're probably telling you like, hey, this is what it's going to be a little bit more of like what the good old boys drink. Yeah. Know? No, they did a decent job. So, Duke, what's your rating? So, I'm going to give this, um, excuse me, I'm going to give it uh, 3.25 buzz. There you go. (laughs) Okay. Uh, And it was going to be blondes, but I burped. Yeah. Uh, So, anyway, yeah, no, uh, if it had a little bit of a more more malty taste, Mm -hmm. I would probably be on board because you did say this is an oktoberfest beer yeah that's what you're trying to put it out there as so you're kind of missing a little bit it probably would have got closer to a 375 maybe it just depends on uh if if, it depends on how that maltier taste would have went with all this no totally understand so shorty what do you got on it man uh i'm gonna give this one uh right in line with you 3.75 skull bats nice (laughs) yes sir finally got that some bitch hung up i know it looks fucking tremendous back there uh, but yeah, I mean, for the same reasons that you really said that it's you know it's good, 
a uh, little different than I expected. You know, I probably if it had been a little richer, I probably would have given it a four point two five. But Ooh. but you know, it it is what it said it was going to be, which is what bumps it up to a three point seven five for me. Because I think normally a beer like this would be closer to a three or three point two five. Because it's not necessarily anything special or anything outstanding about it, but you know what you were getting with this. It, I mean, you take a drink and then you're like, okay. The Oki Lager thing makes a little bit more sense. Yes, it does, um, big time. But it like like you know Oki Lager, but it has kind of a uh, weird bite at the end, which yeah. lagers typically don't have. But they talked about it having a bite in it, so it's kind of like okay, all right. Well, this is basically exactly what you said it would be, minus it being an Oktoberfest beer. Right. Um, also, uh, I think it's I think it's good for a fall beer, especially around here, because fall could be. Both hot or cold, yes. depending. Yes. Uh, like the other day, it was uh, 47 degrees. Yep. But then it didn't take long for it to get up to about 88. Yep. <laughs> so we ran the gamut that day. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good for the hot days. It's pretty good for the warm days. And uh, it's good for those uh, crisp days, too. Yes. Uh, that's about all I got to say about this one. Uh, are we yeah. Gonna, do you want to do another one or? Oh, gosh. Uh, do we have, I don't know if they're cold yet. Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably true. Uh, we could pause this. Yeah, we could. It's possible. Okay. Well, let's, it's possible to pause it. Let's uh, uh, give us a moment. We'll be right back. And we're back. Indeed, we are. <laughs> <laughs> that took a little longer on our side than it we did. thought it would, but uh, it did. Well, we had to we, let we, beer chill, and we were fucking off a little bit. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Duke, you brought this beer. Why don't you tell us what it is? All right. So. Uh, I uh, was just perusing through the liquor store. I saw this. My dogfish head. We love this brewery. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I found uh, this Neo Burliner Weiss. So that should be interesting because I don't know what the fuck any any of that means except for the last part. (laughs) And uh, this is the Festina Peachy. Peachy? Peachy? Peach. Peach? Yeah. All right. Fucking whatever you say. It's that language for peach. Oh, is it? Yes. Our unique, tart, and refreshing Neo Berliner Wise, fermented from boatloads. I'm thinking that's Berliner. Berliner? Yeah, probably German. What did I say? Berliner. Okay, Berliner. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, fer- I'm just guessing. I don't know. I'd be fucking wrong. Fuck, I don't know. I, you know, fermented with boatloads of peaches, this sour is the perfect warm weather companion. Well, we're getting in the cold weather, but that's all right. 4.5% <laughs> ABV. And, uh, yeah, this is brewed with peach, real peach juice. So All right. Should if be. you're allergic to peaches, stay the fuck away. Yeah, and, and, and they're out of Milton, D.E., so that's what, fucking Delaware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took me a minute. <laughs> it's all right. Like, D.E., where the fuck that at? No, it was Delaware. So, anyway, uh, I uh, I don't know. I, I don't really care for sours all that much. I don't hate them. It's just not something that I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't wait to have another sour this week. Right. Um, you know, but they um, – Dogfish Head made a uh, – what the hell was it? Like a sea salt? Was it called sea salt beer or some uh-huh. bullshit like that? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. I fucking I loved it. I can't forget it because I hated it so much. <laughs> I loved it, though. I was like, hey, this is actually not that bad. Yeah, I can't remember. It was like sea salt and lime. Yeah, and basically. Like, like that That was the entire beer. And I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I thought, well, this should be interesting. And telling- I think I actually described it that like they just scooped up ocean water and then <laughs> squirted limes into it. Okay. That's um, how salty it was. I mean, it was it was fucking salty as yeah well. and this is actually pretty salty too it, yeah it's, it's on the not, saltier side it's not as salty but um so shorty what are your first impressions um well it's salty mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't have a really strong sour flavor yeah it is there it's uh the salt almost reminds me of like a margarita type okay of salt you know like it's it's there and it's part of the flavor profile but it doesn't it's not like you just licked a salt lake, you know. Yeah. It's definitely there as a flavor enhancer, so I'm good with that. Uh, the peach flavor is a little lighter than I would like it to be. Yeah. I think. I'm with you on that. It doesn't have that, uh, it's not so sour that it burns either or tastes super acidic. Yeah. It's just, it, it's sour. Duke, what are your thoughts? 
So I'm I'm over here. I'm typing in. I'm not fucking <laughs> on off. Untapped. I'm on I'm on untapped. Everybody, okay. I, I'm, I'm putting in work over here. All right. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm actually motherfucker. Not string strong. Not stalky fat, but stalky buff. buff. <laughs> stalky uh, buff, noise, stalky fat. Yeah, that's right. That's a throwback to something nobody's gonna get. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we need in a YouTube show. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so no, um, I'm with you. Uh, it is, it's, it's salty, but it's not real, real salty. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got a little bit of a tag, excuse me. Um, and I'm not getting the peach flavor. Uh, uh, it, let me take another quick drink and, and see, but I'm not really tasting the peach flavor. No, to me, it's there as a, uh, not getting the peach flavor at all. I think that's where the tart comes from, but not enough that I can identify it as like, yeah. oh, it's a tart fruit, like peach. Like that is peach, mm-hmm. you know, or strawberry or whatever. No, I, yeah. I'm not really getting, getting that. So, um, and that's going to affect the, that's, oh, that's going to affect their score, t- cotton. So, um, yeah, so, I was just looking to see if I could see like a, well, this, was brewed on this date right right then maybe i could say like um i wonder if the peach flavor dwindles over time but i don't see that yeah i don't either and i'm not going to spend too much time looking for it yeah so um yeah that's uh that's basically where i'm at on it man All right, what's your rating so i'm going to give this uh 3.5 square up motherfuckers uh <laughs> Nice. Uh, that's uh that's to our buddy Chopper. He's supposed to be here today, and he he's not. He's he's hiding, ducking and diving and running mm-hmm. scared, like you com- like he committed a crime, and we the feds. <laughs> um, so uh, but yeah, how I got there, um, it probably would have been a three seven five or a four uh, if uh, they weren't saying this is a peach beer. Yeah. I'm, I'm not taste. I get it. It's a peach Weiss, you know, Berliner or Berliner or whatever the fuck, <laughs> however you want to say it. Uh, yeah. but I, I get the Weiss. I get that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what the fuck Berliner is, so whatever. Um, but uh, but definitely not getting the peach taste, and that's why they got that that that's why they got a three five. Agreed. So, uh, Shorty, uh, what are you going to rate this? Uh, I'm going to rate this a two point seven five barrel rolls. All right, because uh, we're about to start streaming on twitch and hell yes I'm sure uh, either mario kart or star fox is going to make an appearance so. yes um but yeah i'm going with uh i'm going with that score and that low because no peach flavor that's a huge negative um really nothing stand out ish about this yeah. beer either other than it's salty yeah it's and tangy. Not, it's not much of a sour beer um it is, I mean, it's smooth, not much of an aftertaste. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of there. It is. It's just like a, it's like a salty, lightly sour beer. And Dogfish Head, whenever I drink their beers, I think, wow, that's something special. Yeah. Usually, nearly every beer I've ever had of theirs is like, wow, that's something special. This one, I'm, I'm just, I, it's just not that special to me. Right. Yeah, so I'm sticking with that. You're not special. I guess everybody's <laughs> got to miss one every now and then. Yeah, so. yeah, you can't get them all right. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, We'll be looking forward to seeing you in some of our other videos. Uh, We'll be looking forward to seeing our next uh, beer review uh, probably next week. All right, everybody, take it easy.